PPV, live this motherfucker with the OG Milltown Blow. What's good, my boy? PPV, what's good, my boy? How you doing? I'm goody, man. I'm goody, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I was just speaking on, man. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's good to have you back, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I appreciate that, bro. For real, for real. Yeah. You know, I always fuck with your campaign, so I appreciate the love. No, I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? So, I want to talk about, you know what I mean, before we talk about the resurgence of uh, uh, Spit That Heat, let's talk about the origins of Spit That Heat, you know what I mean? Because we spoke on it when you were in, Indian, in Indianapolis, you know what I mean? Shout out to Fofo Kenny, back in the day, that, you know what I'm saying? We did the interview, we never finished the interview, you know what I mean? So, I just want to reiterate on a certain key points, you know what I mean? Before we get into, you know, you know what I mean, this, that, and the third. So let's yeah. speak on it. Spit that heat, you know what I mean. Uh, Milltown blow. We know you from Milwaukee, you know what I mean. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, you know what I mean. Tr uh, you came to Atlanta, you know what I mean. Spit that heat. Boom. You found a lot of good, good talent, good talent. You know what I mean. Top tier talent. A lot of these talent was able to uh, go to the main stage. You know what I mean. So I want to just. Speak yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So let's talk about a couple of these names before we move further. You know what I mean? What type of names did you help get to the main stage for my audience? Um, man. Uh, well, I mean, the first initial, the first person from the South on URL uh, would be Super Rider. That's the first person mm -hmm. uh, who, who shines some light from, from the sick that he around that went to URL. He was the first person that we actually initially helped. Get on URL. We actually did that through Nikki Fax. Nikki Fax, we flew him out to spit that heat to come check him battle on Montana. Um, and then when we checked him out, he like, yo, I like both of them niggas. And they end up fucking with Super Rider and Tom Montana. So it went from becoming a scout Super Rider and him just strictly him. And you know, him battling with Tom Montana and Tom Montana having a stellar performance that night. If you haven't seen it go like Tom Montana versus Super Rider hosted by Nikki Fax. That's what, that was the break, a like skit that he breaking into, and the talent breaking into the, the main stage, and people get notoriety from our section, actually, to get to you all right, you feel me? Um, outside of that, bro, it was a trickle effect of niggas out there. Anybody, like, I, when I say anybody, bro, anybody you've seen from the South that's on you all real, that ever touched you all real, mm -hmm. has been on that he, I've been one person from the South that's yeah. on you are real that has not been spit that heat. I'm gonna go down the line. Let's go. Uh, uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start at the end, and then I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna start. We are gonna start with Scotty. Y'all know Scotty from Houston. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I know. I wrote okay. that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. He went uh, against Grams in front of Norbs. Yeah, he went in front of Norbs. Facts. And see, a lot of people don't know. Norbs was fucking with Scotty for a minute, you feel me? For a minute, and he was trying to get me to get Scotty to come fuck around with them for the longest. So I would be back and forth with Scotty before they got on that. They wanted this, you know, spit that knee shit. I, I was like, I fucked with Scotty. Like a lot of niggas don't even know with Scotty. I'm the one who set up JC versus Scotty. Mm. But I set that up. They they funded it, but the battle went through me. You feel me? I'm the one hit JC. Look, bro, my young boy trying to bring you out to such and such. I hit him. I hit Scotty. Like, look, bro, here goes such and such. And they connected the dots. But that had nothing to do with Spit That Ye. That was strictly Houston Barcode business. You uh -huh. know? Shout out to Houston Barcode. He yeah. got shots, shots out to them. Yeah. But um, Scotty was one of them, too. So, um, I, Scotty, we blessed. You know what I'm saying? He got to perform actually in front of Norbs right after that. Mm -hmm. In and the road. Right after that. In the road. You know how that goes? Yeah, that's a fact. Scotty, um, bro, I ain't even in front of my shit, but nigga. Craig Lamar, Chef Trey, uh. Rocco L, uh. Official, uh. uh, Gutter that been on Spit That Heat, Riggs, uh, Blu ray Blade, uh -huh. Riggs Rothstein, uh. T Top, uh. um, Blue Weezy, uh. um, Let me see, bro. I got a long ass list, bro. It's so many well, I'm saying the beat goes uh, on. The beat uh, goes L -L on. LL Cool G. LL Cool G. J Lopez. Midwest. Tufo, yeah, Midwest. Uh, man, but the South, they can't say nothing. 
Like, when it comes to talent, bro, no one can vouch for me, bro. Yeah, come on this bitch and tell you, like, blow here and hit me, like, look, this this to die. So every everything you see me come through, pull the ground, some Seth Trez and Drake Dennis, you know what I'm saying? That day, Flacco L battle him, automatic rape battle, battle Remedy Loco. The mm-hmm. only battle off that match was the Trez and Drake Dennis that dropped rapidly. You feel me? Mm. But we was already up there. So like, let me ask you this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because, you know what I mean? Because uh, you kind of Barry Gordy in this shit, bro. In, on, in battle rap terms. You know We're going to talk facts. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, pro- produced a lot of guys that, that went on and did their shit. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask you, uh, what was your formula? Or do you think it was the time period that it, it was just your time? You know what I mean? Because... Bro, uh, you found a man, lot of bro. niggas, bro. You found a lot of niggas. Like, goddamn, even this nigga know he on some Barry Gordy shit, or it was just his time. How you feel about it? Uh, it's a formula, bro. Like, the reason why it's a formula because I can use Kuzi for an example. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's a formula. When you really like, I have a certain, I have a certain way. I, I maneuver with talent when I got talent, and I know the things that they like. And I've been doing it for years, so it's like it's not something that I'm freestyling, bro. It's a process. Coogee will tell you. When I first signed Coogee, and I said, look, bro, man, you gonna rock, bro. We gonna make this shit shake. You gonna be the face of shit that he this, that, and third. But this is how we gotta do it. We gotta do this, this, and this. And we plan this shit out, bro. Coogee will tell you we had a whole plan for a whole year. And then we went from that year, we went to the next year. Everything we said we was gonna do, we executed, bro. Mm. And Coogee's been on URL. All the every you know, he went to URL, went to RBE, mm-hmm. got one of the most most you RBE uh, uh one K battles. Yeah, yeah. The most talked about. One yeah, so it's yeah. like once you set those standards, bro, and you put a formula and you don't go against the grain of that formula, man, you can make something shake. So it's all about the formula. And I'm gonna show niggas this formula come 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 the next event, you know what I'm saying? So we gonna keep growing the niggas who who nice, but bro, like I'm saying this in a so humble way. PPP, bro. There's not nothing that came from the South. I don't care if they're on bullpen. I don't care if they're on URL that didn't start and spit that heat first. Now, even if they, I don't say just start because you know what I'm saying. A lot of guys that came through, you know what I mean? Like the Deuces. Deuce didn't start, you know what I mean? I understand what you're saying. You talking about that first crowd. Bad news was with Spit That Heat first before he was at bullpen. That's a fact. But before any, any one of them North Carolina niggas, before they was at Spit That Heat, bro, they, I got Grizz, all them niggas. Like, I got them from a nigga by the name of Billy Duchess, bro. He's Shout out to Billy Duchess, North, North Carolina. Carolina. North Carolina, yep. Shout out to him. I'm he a, battled I'm CDs. I'm going to keep it yep. a with you. PPV, don't nobody know this. The only reason why I actually know who Grizz is is because of Billy Duchess, bro. Shout and I'm going to keep man. it all the way 100. That's real. Billy Duchess, was, he starts seeing the, 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 uh, the league, you know, go crazy. So he reached out on some like, what's up, bro? I ain't know who he was. He reached out on some shit like, what's up? We some battle rappers. I got me and my killer. So Billy Duchess started inboxing me all kind of footage and shit. And niggas, him, uh, him, Grizz. Uh, it was just him and Bridge he was advertising at the time. And it was on that dark side shit, hard mm-hmm. body. Mm-hmm. So when he sent me, it was Bridge battle he sent me against a nigga named Africa. Go look it up, bro. Bridge Rothstein versus Africa on RBC. Now, this was a league that was in North Carolina. And what's ironic about this, well, I'm going to use this so y'all can understand it's strictly my formula. It ain't got shit to do with other niggas doing fucking. Now, the RBC league, RBC league was his own, I forgot my brother's name, but. He was Smack's personal cameraman, bro. Like, he used to, he was the first one following Smack everywhere he went when Smack was doing drops, like, four, five, six years ago. Mm. That was, he was the league owner. So, he had access to Smack. He had access to URL. I'm going to give you an example, PPP on how. So, Sir and Hitman went out to North Carolina and hosted these battles. Mm. Before these niggas came to spit that heat, so Sir and Hitman went to North Carolina went to RBC and hosted their event. He hosted, and you know, this shit is all out, people. This is on the internet. What I'm telling you is actual facts. Go look at the dates on me. You'll see what I'm saying. I ain't lying. I got them from RBC because RBC stopped. They quit having events. The rumors went about, I'm not even going to spread them because I don't know if they was true, but it just, they just quit having events. So these brothers was like trying to find a home at the time. 
That goes from all the North Carolina niggas, from Riggs to any one of them, bro. From Blake on, they didn't have a home at the time mm. because it, RBT was dead. So you had all these students just on the standstill. So Billy Duncan took the initiative to reach out to Spit Jane. And then that's when I came across Briz, and I'm like, yo, who is this nigga? Like, why y'all, I ain't never heard of this nigga. Like, what's up? Like, y'all niggas trying to come to mom? Like, <laughs> like, 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 sex, bro. I was like, because it was like, bro, I was trying to get first dibs. I just envisioned everything, bro. I was trying to get first dibs on all these talented arts. Yeah. It was like, I'm up, I'm on the up and up. Breed it, rock talent. So it's like, if I bring them in, that's going to boost them up and that's gonna boost the brand up you feel me yeah that's why I was there so it was like that so Billy got all them niggas to come um uh his first battle he battled a uh, bridge battle automatic rate I gave him automatic rate came and showed out since then I was like oh yeah he's one of them guys he's the one yeah. he's one of them guys the like performance like, yeah I remember Bruce he went against like, yeah. uh, Escapone you know what I mean my Indiana yeah. nigga we took him yeah we brought him to Indiana we bet yep. uh, me and Brody K100 yeah, yep. my brother got some money, Judah. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, we went out there and got that chicken, yeah? I remember that. Yeah. Um, so, when I, that's why I was like, bro, that era of battle rap, bro, it was like, okay, I got these niggas, now I know what I got to do. I got to really house these niggas, put them in front of some people that got a high view, a high view quality and a little stain so they can showcase that they better. So I got to... You know, and I, had, I, I ain't going to drop no jams on niggas because, you know, I'm back, I'm back, so I got to use that. I got a different way I market uh-huh. certain material Respect. to get niggas to, be, to pay attention to certain length. So we were doing that nonstop, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just want I just want these guys to know, my nigga, because, bro, you know what I mean? Like, you did it the old school way, the way I came up, you know what I mean? You get a group of killers, yeah. you put niggas on the road, you put money up. This before niggas was getting yeah. paid, brother. You know what I mean? Yeah, this before fact. niggas was getting paid, my nigga. Niggas had to put money on you. Niggas had to believe in you. And you, yeah, nigga, you had to bring your best shit because you ain't trying to lose this nigga money, bro. I mean, if you lost, you know, it, it was one of the ones where, it's, it's, you know, I'm a, I'm a gambler, so I'd rather gamble. But if I lost, I take niggas on the road. I know my niggas weren't losing. You feel me? Yeah. We, have, we had a different we had a different way of maneuvering and handling that shit. And it really... Getting prepared for that shit, so I was 100% confident in niggas that I brought out of town, bro, every single time. Not a doubt in my mind when I took niggas out of town about it, I felt my niggas was going to lose the money at all, people. Yeah, I'm going to keep it a bean. Hell no, nah, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't take a with you. Yeah, when we went to Indiana, we had every intention of knowing that we were going to win. So, man, yeah, oh, okay, like, man, okay, okay, man, damn, all right, bro, you, y'all beat my nigga Escapone, <laughs> I get it, bro. Like, come on, man. I let you slide the first time. Like, we went out there to get that right, chicken. Right, right. And then, all right, bro. Then you're going to hit me with this. Yeah, you bitch. You got, you know what I mean? You got Escapone, bro. You know what I mean? That's my boy, bro. Y'all got that. Y'all got that. You know what I mean? But I understand it. You know what I mean? Wherever you going, you taking sure shot winners, bro. You taking killers. Like, you know what I mean? I'm proud of that, though. I'm proud of that. You know, we've been tapping to the, the women's division. Spring. You know, Spring like got on acquainted. Yeah, you know, official Spring got on acquainted. Ring, you know, saying she did her thing. Um, uh, Rizzy over there at bullpen, she, she, you know, cash flow Rizzy, she, she was at spit day. I didn't know that. She got us. That I yeah, did not know. I swear to God, bro. bro. Her, 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 kids, her, bro unique I fatal, her, bro. Go look at go look at unique fatal versus Rizzy. Go look at that. Yeah. That's one spit day. Hold on, unique U N E E K. Yeah, Unique Fatal Verse. I heard Unique, her Unique Fatal Verse Cash Flow Rizzy is on Spit That Heat. Go look at Drugs versus Homes. That's on Spit That Heat. I'm going to mm. say, not just the South, but bro, when you wanted to get hot, it was either back then, it was either weak or hard or Spit That Heat. Everybody else was cool. Like, niggas was still like on the up and up. You feel me? Like, yeah. But it was, if you wanted to go look at some raw, authentic talent with niggas should be sweating. You know what I'm saying? Like, only each other neck, like, really <laughs> talking that shit. Yeah. You're going to go to We Go Hard, and you're going to go to Spit That Heat. Bro. Okay, let's speak, I want to speak, like, Spit That Heat. Shout out to We Go Hard, Troy Martin, you know what I mean? Uh, everybody over there, you know what I mean? But Spit That Heat, y'all, y'all had my Indiana niggas on that motherfucker. Yeah, Mr. Mills. Yeah, you, know, you know what I mean? You had uh, uh, K. Marco, you had C. DZ, you had Indy, Indy Savage. About this. We gave Mr. Mills his very first battle. We gave Kane Marco his very first battle. 
Mr. Mill's very first battle, his very first live battle on any internet as far as like a live battle. Before you did. Yeah, half bars. Yeah, half yeah, bars. Go look it up. That's Mr. Mill's first live battle. K. Marco, his first live battle was versus Riggs. I talked Riggs into battling K. Marco with no footage. Mm. With no footage. I'm not lying. Riggs had all kind of footage in RBC. Well, yeah, Riggs. That's a fact. Riggs. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and K. Marco had nothing. And it was like, I had to really like the swim. I'll persuade him. I got a Daddy Marcus right after that. You're doing a favor for me, I'm doing a favor for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scratch my back, I scratch yours. Right after you battle Danny Marco, the next car we had him battle Danny Myers. Real nigga shit. Real nigga shit. Like, we was fucking with Riggs when he had dreads. Niggas wasn't, niggas wasn't, niggas don't know nothing about that. You feel me? Like, spit that heat. Duke of Battle Rap. You feel me? Duke of Battle Rap. All our players went to the NBA. Damn it. I mean, yeah, like, no cause cap. you done put some of my guys on, bro. I just had to let that be known for the people. You know what I mean? Cause nigga, I ain't no goofy, yeah. bro. I'm the real nigga, bro. Like you had my Indiana niggas on there, pa too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Young pa, pa. Pa got JC. JC, yeah, exactly. I, I remember he sparred with me before he battled JC, bro. With my mama, he did. You know what I yeah. mean? Like that's how me and Pa yeah. was. We was with it, you know what I mean? I remember that, bro. Like you to put you, yeah. like uh, my whole point is like that's different. That's a different region. It is that different than the South. That's the Midwest. You a Midwest nigga yeah. too, you know what I mean? So but you would just I started with the Midwest. Uh, uh, P -P -P. Yeah, come on, nigga, Mill Town, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, when I started, like my first event was uh, was it, uh, my bro named Six Days versus Omni True. Six Days versus Omni True, and it was in the back of the barber shop and. Where it got 500, my nigga friends came from Milwaukee, I'm in the troops from Atlanta, the niggas battled, I did two rounds, you know what I'm saying, and the niggas went on two rounds unlimited, you know what I'm saying, so it was different, like I was just testing shit out, I got so much, so much old shit, bro, I ain't even posted, like, like I just got on private, it's just <laughs> old and, and, and so vintage, like it's crazy, my nigga, but yeah, like we started with the Midwest, then after that, we had AQ come down by the battle BG Soldier. As you saw, we said, I told my tenant about a super writer. So I always try to incorporate the Midwest and, 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 and you know, and stick a lot with the South. If you look at Killer B versus Blue Weezy, mm. you know what I'm saying? I always try to, like, combine them to war with each other. You know what I'm saying? And whatever the outcome be, be the outcome. And there it is. A lot of people keep it being, you've been one of the people who kept it real. And you actually know the legacy of Spit That Heat. But it's a lot of people who try to actually downplay them. Because, you know, a nigga was on high haters, a nigga was chill, a nigga had to go do what he had to go do. But when it come down to work ethic, when it come down to who was popping up at these events, going in and out of town, going to these cats backyard, watching a battle on their home league with a notepad, writing down what I do like about niggas and I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, really saying what I can put mm -hmm. together as far as making my brand elevate, I put a lot of time into that. And I'd be damned if I let anybody within the culture try to discredit me for that. Cause it be a lot of niggas like, oh, don't niggas don't want to own. Like even with the artists, like you had niggas like certain niggas like Key Pops and all them. I done seen first, certain interviews where I ain't never tamed and spit that heat, bro. Go to your battles. When you go to your battles, you're gonna see where you like. I ain't say you was born there, but you got your momentum to get hot. The niggas got their momentum to get hot from spit that heat, bro. Cause you got. I, I already told you, like their yeah. men, their their league owner was smack cameras, man. Surfing and was already out there and saw y'all niggas live. Nothing shook. Nothing shook. Nobody touched you on real still. It's ironic. As soon as you niggas come over here to speak that heat, it just become a trickle effect. It come breathing t pop And why would I be hosting your pool around t pop versus City Towers if you didn't come to my platform? Mm. Your first City Towers versus t pop is hosted by Bill Town Blow on URL. Right now. Still. Like, so it's like, I be kind of like fighting the turbulence for that. Like, don't act like niggas wasn't there with you and BT stayed up two days with you make sure you, wasn't, you ain't forget your raps. Don't get on no cat. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's shit. cat. And that's cat. That's cat when you do that. You feel me? Like, man, him walking around the baseball, the baseball parking lot across the street from the hotel. Man, you got that rap? You got this rap? Come on, let me hear it. We going like two days straight. That's why T-Top beat niggas, bro. He was up there working, you know mm. what I'm saying? But don't act like you ain't have a coach, which please don't. 
Hey, a man. lot of niggas get up there and act like he, you know. I, I, I've even heard like, you know, I've even heard like Briz and a lot of them niggas, you know, they try to like skip their process of their, their success. And you can't do that. Like, you don't like, yeah, like, I'm not saying I hate niggas, but when we're talking about where you actually elevate and level up within your realm of your career, yeah. you cannot skip Now, let me ask you this, bro. Let me ask you this because, like, because I put time into people. You put time and money into people. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. like, I get niggas my attention. You know what I mean? Like, you fuck with me, bro. Like, I fuck with you. We we, we chop it up, bro, on some real nigga shit. I come to see you, this, that, and the third. But, like, you put a bag behind a nigga, bro. And then a nigga yeah. will forget. The money and, bro, and, and the I'm process. A, now, let me ask. Now, now, I'm setting up a question. I'm setting up a question. Check me out. You know what I'm saying? You know it's PPV. I freestyle. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? So, when you put a process and things behind a nigga and a nigga forget, how does that really make you feel as a man? It's like, damn, bro. You know what I mean? Because ain't no beef shit. It's just like, damn, bro. You really forgot the, that whole process, bro? You know what I mean? My whole process that I put into you. Niggas don't be forget. They just don't be wanting to shine the light on nobody but themselves. PPV. They don't forget. The niggas can't forget. They know what the fuck really went down. You feel me? It just with that light on them. The niggas wanna make themselves seem like they did it all by themselves. Not knowing that people gonna love and like you more when they find out your real story, my nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't God. never, I ain't never took credit for writing none of these niggas rap, bro. But I ain't seen and sat back on camera for like a whole two and a half years and watch niggas take credit for all the work and all the receipts that I got from shit that eat in my shit. No cap. Like, oh, I did this, I did that. Nigga, I'm the one who paid for the room. And, and, and they, like, bought you a t shirt. Like, what the fuck did you talk about? Like, it'd be like some weird shit. Like, nigga, like, like, nigga, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be like mad. Like, not on no funny shit, but on some real shit. Like, you, these niggas get on camera. And they act like they don't know what happened. They act like a nigga ain't never made sure, you know, like they, I, I got niggas their biggest checks before they even hit man, bro. You feel me? Like, niggas got their biggest checks. Like, Peacock got his biggest bag, bro, before he even hit man. Fucking what spit that heat. Bro, look at me, you know what I'm saying? I didn't took him on the road. I didn't have him go come down a perk. Bro, look, you see me and Peacock. It's a fan. I took Trez. Trez, yep, everywhere, yep. Everywhere yep. I shout to Rodney. I don't shout to my nigga Rodney. Shout out to my nigga Rodney Ballhawk. Facts. Let's grow all day, my nigga. Out the gate. Let's but you did. You took them both on the road. You took them road games. Look, look, every time I had a hot nigga, if you pay attention to the cycle, I did the same thing for everybody. We all went to the road. We all did this. Pay attention, PPV. It's a, it's a, it's a formula, bro. It's not some shit that I'm freestyling. I'm not lying, bro. Coogee did the same thing. He went on the road. He went to gates. He went to the It's the formula. Tell me I'm lying. I ain't switched up shit I've been doing. And all my niggas who I push them away, where do they go? Show me one nigga who had them. When you see me with them 24 7, this, that, and the third, and they ain't went all the way up through there. Come on now. You can't. My niggas, I just been on BBC with niggas. PBV. That's a fact, bro. UFF. UFF, bro. Let's talk. I mean, we could talk about it. Like, I, I know. Yeah. I know. I know, brother. You ain't like, got to say it, brother. Niggas. I know, brother. I was around when niggas ain't get T-Top the whole 10. You feel me? And they, you know, they made them time to wait for the, for the 5G and then tax them at the end. No cap. And they ain't even on no hate shit. It's just like, nigga, I, I was around for that. They ain't be trying to downplay like I wasn't around. I was around for that. And when you go look at anything UFF footage-wise that's out right now, you're going to see me somewhere on somebody's blog. No cap. With T-Cop. With Bridge. Mm -hmm. Showing love, my nigga. With your guys, you know brother. With your guys. You know what I mean? Showing love, my nah. I went out there on my own dime to support niggas. Niggas got flights, hotel, you know, BP funded the whole shit. I went out there on my own dime, made sure my niggas was all, made sure my niggas was together. And mm -hmm. niggas would be on the camera and act like I never did it. But when I see niggas, bro, like, I saw a T Top not too long ago. It was, what's up, kid? Yeah, what's up? It's all love, but as soon as a nigga get in that battle rap crowd, oh, no, nah, man, that, that just, you know, it's funny. You know, but Damn. I take it with a grain of salt, my nigga. Damn, I, like, I didn't bro. like outside of that, bro. I didn't see top, bro. Like it'd be a five minute conversation, from, like how your life like. You wouldn't even think that about how the niggas act on the internet. All them niggas, like you know what I'm saying. All them niggas, they get it. They see a nigga every like not saying niggas pussy or nothing. You know, what I'm just saying like on some real nigga, bro to bro. They just see me and yeah. be on love. It's like, bro, what's happening? But then when the, when the battle come, when you get 
get around the battle because there ain't no, ain't none of that. Niggas act like ain't none of that, don't none of that exist. And I'm me 24 7, bro. If you bro outside of there, you the bro when I see you with smack around, my nigga. Oh, uh, yeah, keep that, keep that same right. energy. That's all. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah, so that, that's, know, that's, that's, so that's how, no that's how some of the, uh, your talent. Your former talent, you know what I mean, got you feeling, you know what I mean? Which I feel is crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because any nigga that put time and money into you, my nigga, you can never forget that. Like, you don't owe that nigga nothing, but, you know what I'm saying? I scratch my back, you scratch mine, but pay homage, bro. Don't forget, bro. You know what I mean? You don't owe me no parade. You don't owe me none of that shit, but, bro, you know what I mean? Just You just feel like niggas just really forgot. And see, a lot of that shit, bro, I'm going to be 100. Like, it was a lot. Like, T-Top, T-Top and, and Briz, them niggas was in under contract. I did all that shit for free for them niggas. Like, majority of the niggas who, like, I had a couple niggas under contract, but, like, Trent is, he was signed to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I never signed Craig Lamar. I never, phys I never physically signed Flock no L. You feel me? Like, the only, it was only a few niggas who were signed, so... You know, niggas probably didn't feel like they, they didn't have to, but I gave niggas the same energy like they were on the board. You feel me? Like, investing dollars without any commitment of it coming back just because I wanted to see niggas profit that bad, bro. Genuinely, you know what I'm saying? Not only not, not because it's benefiting me, because I really wanted to see niggas win, because niggas was like, damn, this shit really can help a nigga take a name. But these my niggas, like, I'm thinking like these are the homies. Like, are we finna go all the way up and kill this nigga, bro? We finna... We bet in the house. Yeah. You feel me? That's the energy I got with niggas. Like, if I'm on the campaign and I'm confident in niggas, I get a tell out of shit my niggas work. You feel me? I bet in the house on my nigga. What up? Against whoever. Like, and that's just how I'm coming. But a lot of niggas try to forget, like, that's what it was. It was all love, man. Like, niggas be at the crib spinning out at my house. You hear me, PPV? Damn. Spinning out at my crib, bro. Chilling on my couch watching TV. Man, I know that feeling. Yeah, nigga, nigga, <laughs> nigga, nigga, hop on the internet like, yo, yeah, man, I ain't come from this, I ain't, nah, man, I don't know. Really, you know, bro? Right, right, bro. Yeah, you can have that. That ain't even what I'm mad at. Yeah, so it's like, that, yeah. that made me want to be like, you know what, this battle rap shit cool, I'm cool on that, but, you know, I had to sit back, you know, to see so people So let's speak on that, because down. you really felt like, right. you, you was really cool on this shit for a second, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I mean, uh, this, I want to talk about the transition between you falling back and bullpen falling in you know what i mean because yeah, yeah. you know what i mean because this is where we left off for our last interview in indianapolis you know what i mean like you know what i mean yeah, so yeah. let's speak on that you know what i mean because i gotta, gotta reiterate uh, we gotta make it all it's a puzzle piece we gotta make it all work you know what i mean because like what well, happened I mean, brother what happened brother well i mean a lot of people got speculations that i was ran out of atlanta yeah uh, Niggas did this, niggas did that. This is also like in a mix of bullpen coming in. I was fighting the case the entire time, bro. You feel me? Like, I just couldn't show off. Oh, I couldn't make that be a weakness. Like, oh, I'm fighting the case, nigga, case. So I was still on my, like, fuck y'all, I'll spit that he shit in the mix of all that. So when things didn't go my way legally, I had to go do what I had to go do. So I couldn't be around to compete with niggas or... Because when niggas was still running away from Spit That Heat and walking away and want to run this, you know, drive down the diner and bullpen, I was, I was, I was having a legal issue. I couldn't try to throw no event to convince niggas this way y'all need to stay or none of that shit, you feel right. me? But at the same time, John I came in with a lot of power, you feel me? Like, no knock, nah, I'm not mad at him. He came in with the Bow Wow, came in with the Dupree, so niggas seen that and saw opportunity. They seen celebrity. At Spit That Heat, you said a lot of hood niggas, but we just had to wait. But the niggas saw it get bigger and get more exposure. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to be a part of that, you feel me? And I feel like how niggas did it wasn't clear. Only nigga who did it the right way for me, who left the right way was Spit That Heat, bro. Some real nigga shit, bro. Like one of the fullest niggas I ever came across, bro. And I never forget that. It's Chrome, bro. I had to, like, tell Clone, like, bro, go ahead, bro. I got to handle my legal shit. Mm. He's like, bro, you show I hold this shit. Yeah, bro, go handle that. Go go do that. Go over there if you one of them top niggas. And show enough, he one of them top niggas, too. So it's like, when you think about the South, no bitch to niggas, because niggas is up there. They got a brand and they did their thing, but yeah. there's nothing from that realm over there that's originally groomed up by them that made hot. The niggas was already wavy when they got there. You feel me? 
Yeah, okay, yeah, that's solid. You know what I'm saying? Because like the same way with the URL with the Sue Surfs, like Sue Surf didn't come from URL. You know what I mean? Calico hey, didn't come from hey, URL. They came you know, from Block City. It, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like you were one of those leagues where niggas scouted and they know what they was gonna find good talent. You know what I mean? Overall, bro. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I always salute you for that, bro. You know what I mean? Like, good talent. Good talent. You know what I mean? Hey, you want to know what's crazy as PBB? When you in that mode at that time, bro, you don't even realize how dope niggas really are until you actually sit back like a time like now and go look like shit. Don't no, say that. <laughs> like, I was in a whole other mindset. I was just trying to keep that momentum because it was like, Bro, you'd be surprised, bro. It, it was it was so humbling, man. But then it was, you know, I was a little younger, so it was a lot of things that was happening so fast. And, you know, I'm not going to yeah. sit here and point to You know, I'm not, I ain't been no saint. No, you know, I made a lot of rational decisions as a young CEO, PPP. I can't take that away from myself, but that made me who I am today. Yeah. You feel me? Who I am today is a whole completely different person than what I was. And I don't take nothing back because at the end of the day, I, I appreciate what I am today. You feel me? No, I want it. You know what I'm saying? Because P. Diddy, if P. Diddy could rewind when he was your age, I bet you when he was finding talent, he wouldn't have did it the way he did it. He probably would have did it the same, but would have tweaked it where his artists could have won. You know what I mean? Not saying that you went through that. You know what I mean? Not saying that, but everybody has their regrets. You know what I mean? He was Jay Z made a song regrets on his first album, Reasonable Doubt. You know what I mean? Everybody gonna have regrets, brother. You know what I mean? But Look at look, you look at your legacy, overall, bro. It's dope, bro. It's you got a dope fucking legacy. That. What's so dope about it, though, people, is I asked to come back. Like they asked me to come back. Let me tell you what's like, doper. Let me tell you what's doper. The people like the Dre Dennis's. You know what I mean? Shout out to my brother. You know what I mean? Dre Dennis. That's my brother. Like like niggas that 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 seen the blueprint. Tweaked it and did it their own way, but it's still yes. that. Yes. It's that's kind of your blueprint, bro. You know what I mean? And, Dre, and bro. Day, my little brother, my little brother, that's bro. Like, he, he get on here, tell you and be like, bro, blowing started that niggas. I got a lot of jets from, and I did this from. And what's crazy is now, like, even still to this day, like. Me and bro are bouncing energy. And it's dope that he even had any, like, a weird conversation with him now and see how far he's grown from when he first started to where he is now, man. So, mm-hmm. bro, it's, it's a humbling situation to be a part of. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because you be a he part of a lot of... He be dropping bombs. He be dropping bombs on me, too. Like, a lot of little shit. I, you know, I ain't hit too now that they changed this, that, and the third. But, bro, this is, hey, bro, this is what's this. This is what's that. Yeah. And, you know, y'all wish some love. And I love that, bro. Yeah, you know hell saying? yeah. So, Somebody to keep you abreast. Gates, that's my second home. That's my second home, for sure, PPP. Shout out Gates to the Garden. Shout, Shout out my bro, C-Lo. His business partner. Shout he is a solid nigga, too. Oh, yeah, you know bro. Like, On my mama, light skin ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's my dog, bro. That's my I man. Up, I ain't gonna lie. Every time I come up, Celo hold me down, down. That's my brother. Him, Dre, they always show me mad love, bro. So I can't do nothing but salute them and what they got going on in the gates for sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's cause like I was saying, like a lot of shit, people are really following the blueprint. UBL, G Gray. Yeah. Huh? You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, though. I mean, yeah. I'm just keeping it real, the bro. The blueprint is in their face. King, the blueprint is in their face. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, bro, like I said, when it comes to, I'm glad I, I went through that process already, PPV. You feel me? Why well, I'm not new to the culture, and I got to convince them that this is the, these are the guys. I'm glad mm-hmm. I'm not that because it's so hard to tap in now. Yeah. You feel me? Because it's so, it's, it's so over-saturated with so many people who feel like they can just get up and and do it. Not saying that that's what's going on with G. Gray. I'm saluting you, DL. I fuck with them. It's just like, um, just people in general, bro, you know? So, I'm glad to be a part of that legacy where, all right, well, look, I ain't got to convince y'all that my niggas or the wave is, is the brand is the brand. The brand is the brand. We already been through the mud with this shit. Mm-hmm. Traveling and all that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Solidified, so, brother. It's a, solidified. It's a, it's a humble experience. I didn't even think niggas would want to fuck with the wave like that. But when I got old niggas who, you know, who was over there and, you know, now they want to come back and they want to do it right. We doing it different. We doing it. We doing it a whole other wave of battle rap and it wouldn't be dope. 
to not go with the nigga to some of the niggas who I originally started with. You me? So it's a blessing, bro. Yeah, it becomes, I mean, you can keep the same sentiment, the same love, but with the times, you really have to change. This is what I'm learning with my uh, platform, you know what I mean? Like, man, we gotta, I gotta tweak some shit, bro. You can't keep doing the same thing. If you keep doing the same thing, you're gonna get the same results. You gotta tweak. Yeah. You gotta move along with the times. You know what I mean? Even E40, even E40 moved along with the times. This nigga is relevant as fuck to this day, bro. And this motherfucker been doing this shit since the '80s, my nigga. You have to move with the way. You gotta move with the way. And when you think about it, bro, if you look like if a nigga hits you in your inbox, PPC, like, look, bro, I got this battle. These my bars. Check me out. PPC, you don't look it. Because there's so many niggas doing that. Mm -hmm. So it's like when you're trying to be different, it's like, how? How do you be different in the lane from the same niggas doing the same thing? You feel me? Like, so it's like with, 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 with the version coming back, it has to be done differently. And that's why we're doing it this way because I feel like personally, Battle rap is at a place where niggas are spoiled to the fact that just understand that they don't know if they want it or not. Mm -hmm. I wanna, I wanna come back. I wanna come back with that pressure. Look, we got spitters, we got hitters, and we got we breaking that stigma. And niggas calling niggas broke. They got their own paper. They betting on themselves. Mm -hmm. So y'all top tier niggas like if y'all niggas like. like that's the essence. That's why I love man, this like, come all in. Your bag. Like, it's all in, man, my nigga. All... Put your money where your mouth is. Like, if it's money it, on the wood, it's all good. It's old school, it's my all nigga. Good. It's all yeah, good. Man, it's bro. Like, you can't blame me. You can't blame nobody from Street that Heat, bro. Like, nobody who come with the campaign about you losing your money. You come in, you pick your own journey. You come in, you and your, you and your opponent, y'all picking your own journey. They have zero to do with the league. Y'all picking them. So when they win, they win. Ain't no arguing with them. Ain't no negativity after that. Ain't no crying on the page after that. Mm -hmm. They ain't gonna be men. You come up here, you know the rules. They getting accounted for a loss. We doing wins and losses now. So ain't no more. Ain't no more. No, you understand? No. When you come on here and you want all, you want all money in, and you've been featured previously, your record is gonna be on the side of your name. You lost, it's gonna showcase. He has a loss. And that's what I, and I love that fact that niggas got to start taking L's with they shit. Because that's what humbles niggas is losses. If you can't, t if, if nobody tells you you lost and it is all debate, you know what I mean? Ain't no judges on the line because we come from judges. I come from judges. You come from judges. You know what I mean? We old school niggas. Somebody had to tell you you lost, bro. It's a fight. You know what I mean? Now niggas can just run when they got it's debatable. Ain't no debatable fights, bro. I ain't seen a debatable fight in a long time. What is a debatable fight, bro? It has to be judged, bro. You know what I mean? With That's a fact. You know what I mean? With with unbiased judges. But the fact that, that the point is, how do you find unbiased judges? You know what I mean? Oh, uh, we not going looking for them again. They're gonna be in there, right? The artists are gonna come and they get to pick their judges. Um, and whoever they pick, those are the people who, you know, well, I'm gonna come up with the conclusion if you want or you lost. That's up to them. They ain't got nothing to do with us after the battle. And see, the dope thing about this year is we're having, they're gonna battle in front of the winner. You know uh. what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna be right there. So it's like, when you're done, they pick the winner, they go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I'm saying that's as close to old school you can get. You know what I mean? Yeah, so nah, like, I mean, say judging is judges, bro. I just wanted shit to see judges. I'm tired of these niggas saying that they won when I know they lost, bro. Like, you know what I mean? You ever seen somebody get beat the fuck up, bro? You got a black eye, your leg broke, your hip dislocated, but nigga is debatable. Nigga, no, nigga really whooped your ass, bro. I've never seen a fight where a nigga said it was debatable when they really got beat the fuck up in real life. Only in battle rap, bro. Only in battle rap. You know what? I didn't even look at it like that, bro. You just made me look at it from a whole other view. I didn't even look at it like that. And since you put it like that, you're 100% right. I feel like I should have been on that. But we on it now. You got it. We on it now. August 1st, we out there. August 1st, so. August well, we out August 1st, all is well, we out there. You know what I'm saying? All is well. You know what I'm saying? prohibiting us from actually, actually getting us to go out there. We out there, you know what I'm saying? Man, ready I ready. Yeah, hopefully, you know what I'm saying? The uh, Holy Divine, let, let that happen for you, brothers. You know what I'm saying? So last question before we wrap it up, you know what I mean? Um, Norbs, brother, you know what I mean? You've been doing a lot of posts about Norbs. 
You know what I mean? I just have to ask you about him on my platform. You know what I mean? You and Norms had a cool relationship. You know what I mean? So, um, overall, do you feel like he deserved to lose his job over speculation, this, that, and the third? Um, do I think Norm deserves to lose his job over speculation? Um, I'm going to be 100 when it comes to that, bro. Um, I'm going to stay completely out of that, PP. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as, like, what do I say? You know, I'm going to, I ain't going to comment on that. But, you know, when it bro. comes to the whole circumstances, I already um, spoke to Norm. I already put that out in the public as far as, like, how I felt about that. And that's what happened. It took place for him. That's where um, I already put out there how I feel about that already. Um, but as far as him losing his job, I'm almost definitely not even like comment on that. Um, I just wish the best for him in this situation because I do fuck with him. Um, that situation is um, a serious situation. And, and if he did handle that situation and maneuver how it's out there to the public, it's a disappointment to me. You feel me? And I most definitely feel like whatever comes with that comes with that from any man that plays. And a fire like that, and that's what took place. But outside of that, I, I got nothing from Stephen Norris because when it came down to Smith and EPV, um, and mm -hmm. the piece of talent that I ever had always came through Norris. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So that's all I was emphasizing when, when you see me speaking on that. I see so many people actually who I know that was at events trying to get Norris' attention and, you know, uh, his water, the event, and, you know, oh man, can you please watch my back? Now they're turning around this. Them. Now, it's different between twerk disrespecting them and the people who actually need a favor and he was generally disrespecting them. I don't like that. So it's like, I was just reminding people, like, because when my, I was going through my hardship, he was the same nigga speaking up for me. And I don't know what I'm talking about. And he's quite that issue. That nigga got kind of an opportunity. It's, I, I, I was crazy. He always picked me up. So I was giving him his roses in a rough time because he made me his rough, my roses in a rough time. And I feel like Real niggas gonna do that. Um, I, like I said before, I even give, got to giving them his roses. I, I didn't even, you know, I spoke on that situation and I emphasized on that situation very, very seriously. But I just wanted the people like to don't discredit the man's work overall within the culture off of one mistake. Because when you become a boss man, you make a million mistakes. You understand? Like that doesn't define the work that you did and the platform that you provided for people to actually be able to help take care of their families. And I've never been one of them type of niggas to that. So when I, I see so much of that in the culture, PPV, for new league owners and people who are trying to manage artists, I just want y'all to pay attention to because you never see that side of the culture. You only see the side where people actually just talking down and, and, and trying to be little. You never see the side where the, the person you actually went hard and for the same people who actually down and be little. So, yeah, he okay. already got it in the worst way. He already publicly got humiliated. You like know what? What, what more? What like? What more? What more? That's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. It's not that. It was just like, all right, hey, bro, handle this function with him. You feel me? It is what it is. How now? Why? Why no, do I? You know? Why is it? Why is this niggas? You know, trying to bash something that had nothing to do with them? No, I agree. These niggas, those same, those same niggas who needed fame. Feel me? Like it's, it's different from niggas who don't know both sides and they just, you know, bash it. But I see niggas who I've actually seen with her, like. Okay. Got you. No, no, no. That's your favor, whole point. Bro. Like, like, bro, don't talk yeah. down on the nigga when I seen you sucking this nigga ass in real life, bro. That's fake. You a phony. You a goofy. You know what I mean? No, I understand. I definitely understand, bro. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, he's but, most definitely contributed. He's contributed a whole lot to us. So a lot. My, a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because he done put my guys on just like you put my guys on, bro. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah. I respect that nigga to that extent. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to leave that at that. I just had to ask your yeah. thoughts. Because, you know what I'm saying? saying that's your man. And it's the same way I feel when it comes to that. Yeah, yeah we're going to leave that at that. The same way I, I respect him to that extent. Yeah. And I'm always respect him to that extent Facts. right there, for sure, to the max. Facts, you know what I'm saying? So spit that heat back like vertebrae and spinal cords, you bitch. You know what I'm saying? Or I peep my nigga nice, by the way. You put my nigga nice on the platform, nice, too. You put my I nigga did, nice I on the platform nice. before I go. Long live the great. Man, long live the great, man. Like, I'm humble. I'm humble to even get to work with a brother so driven. You feel me? Like, this drive was crazy. Like, it was crazy before he even passed away. Rest in peace, his soul, bro. 
the young boy hit me in the inbox. I still got the message. I would never erase it. Because I thought if I put it on a shirt, no okay. cap. Um, and he hit me up on some shit like, nigga, I'm ready. And I wasn't even on the energy that I'm on now. And it was like, uh, I, I know, nigga, if I'd have told him not, it's like, look, bro, I'm going to be ready. You're going to be ready, ready bro. Ready. Oh, yeah. my boy would have been right, ready. Bro. Oh, my God, he would have been so ready, bro. You know what exactly. I'm saying? All that night. Ah, yes. You know he's looking down. You know, I know he's looking down uh, on right now, like, with a smile, like, man, you want to... You know, now you want to get it started, but uh, I'm not shaking for that bill. You heard? Man. Every time I hop on Kevin, it's going to be all right. Be nice. You heard? All right, be nice, man. You got to throw that up for my boy. You know what I'm saying? I, I I still get up for nice. You know what I'm saying? That's my little brother. You know what I'm saying? Because you definitely had him on this platform. You know what I mean? Like him versus a uh, 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 hoodlum, bro. I still watch that battle, bro. Like, that's a dope but fucking see, that battle. That wasn't even his first time on the platform. That you was see what second. I'm saying, bro? Yeah. Them niggas came, him and Matt Tisdale, they was on train today. They came to Atlanta and put in work. Y'all mm. gotta, that niggas gotta, yeah, I'm gonna have to tag you and Matt. Them niggas came to put in work, bro. I need to see it, brother. Yeah. You gotta I got see young that. Nice. I got young nice on train today, nigga, with the low haircut. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, Indiana need that, that, boy. Come on, man. You done put it on PVV. Now out. you gotta drop it. You gotta drop it, bro. It's out. It's out. Get Man, you gotta tag me, bro. I've never seen it, bro. Never. Thank you, bro. He was a nice and that was around with Briggs and it was around. They was on train today, bro. No cap. I'm gonna tag you and this shit is gonna blow your mind, bro. Bro, no cap, bro. bro I'm blowed right now. In that era, bro. I'm blowed right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Your legacy. It's crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? You you had my little niggas on, my little little niggas on early. You know what I'm saying? Beast, Andy Savage, them was the two niggas. I know we should go, but I gotta get them they wrote. Go ahead. Them niggas from y'all back. Yeah, they were the two niggas from y'all back at that time that I seen on every fucking platform. I'm like, I hit them niggas back then, mm -hmm. and it was like niggas used to give me the run around. I hit CP like nigga who? Who I back? I'll be there. Check it. I gave the date, I'll be there. No, them niggas drove from Indiana every time, no complaints. Cool, they did that, they did that, they that. That was the first time I seen them niggas like that. Yeah. Made me trouble then it's like I seen sheep and them niggas on block shit. Yep. It wasn't a league that wasn't independent that sheep mm -hmm. that any savage didn't touch, bro. Yeah. Like no cap. These what are facts. Doing? This niggas I seen going state to state, putting in heavy work. My God, <laughs> they bros just salute to Indy Savage. To that man, man, uh -huh. thank you for that, bro. My, my, nah, they need to hear that. My Indiana like, niggas no need cap, to hear that like, from Milltown like, Road, bro. The first, listen, bro, like, that was the first niggas I, I fucked with from Indiana, bro. I ain't finna sit here and lie. They was the first two niggas that came putting on from Indiana on shit. That he, he bet Cannon that his money won. I think they bet like five to three hundred. He beat Cannon. Like, that was like been on shit that he, like, this ain't nothing. Like, niggas who been to the realm know. He mm -hmm. get off that chicken, niggas the back quick. <laughs> he came, bet his paper, and he can You know what I'm saying? And, and it ain't beating, can yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it's, so it was like, Nigga ain't violent. He came like them niggas. Them niggas was putting on. Then that's when they brought King Marco. Yeah. And he was he was one of them niggas like yo. I need my shot. You know what I'm saying? He yeah, wasn't King Marco he is today. He was a little humble than he was than he is today. You know he was like I need my shot. And he, he talked red really in the battle him and no footage. But she she's boy in the game. Like he was on my top. Like bro, I got my nigga. He need a shot, bro. You know we fuck with you. Come on, man. I'm like I, I try to find him a fight. But I'm saying, bro, like you're saying, you done been around the world and I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? My man that did a lot, bro. You done put a lot of people on from different regions. You know what I mean? Spit that heat is back. So, nigga, we gonna, uh, we, <laughs> nigga, spit that heat is back. You know what I mean? We're gonna do another, we're gonna do another problem outside of this. You know what I'm saying? You already know I go PPP. It's not it's all good. So, what else you got to say to the streets before we call it a wrap, my brother? Yeah. On um, August 1st, if you, if you like battle rap, you know what I'm saying? You want to be a part of something different, get to it on August 1st. August 1st. Um, again, make sure you pull up, stay tuned. If you ain't in the group, add yourself to the group. Hashtag spit that heat. If you ain't following us on social media, man, follow us on YouTube, YouTube. Backslash with the Eagles, which, man, it's gonna get crazy. Man, and this is the GOAT, bro. You know what I'm saying? 
Milltown Blow, bro. He done put in a lot of work from coast to coast, bro. You know what I mean? For real, for real. Gotta pay homage, bro. A lot of niggas don't like you, bro. <laughs> a lot of yeah, niggas don't I like you, that, but they bro. gotta respect you, I brother. That, they have to respect I, you, bro. Yeah, that's a fact. That's all we care for, kid. That's you it. Heard? I don't. That's I don't give a that's fuck who like me either, bro. Respect me, bro. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, when a nigga work, bro, you gotta respect the worker, bro. That's a fact, bro. Okay. No and you know what? I was. I appreciate you always like giving us my roses. I know. I know you said. I know I said that earlier, but people be like, bro, you wanted the nigga to. You know what I'm saying? Any shit hit the fan, you always shed your life. Like, yo, bro, what's up? What's your story, nigga? You know what I'm saying? There ain't too many people who will be blogging and really be doing interviews, really be trying to get all specials of the story to give niggas the real. You know what I'm saying? So, salute to you. Always reaching out. You know what I'm saying? Shining the light like this way. You already know, nigga. You get this shit shaking, nigga. It's whatever. Whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, nigga, you got access to whatever. Ain't no pressure. You don't look out for people. That's love, bro, because how I was raised, brother, you know what I mean? As a, I ain't no journalist, but everybody has a story to tell, bro. You can't be one-sided. Then you bias. Then you a fuck nigga. You's a bitch. You know what I mean? Why you only want to tell one person's story and not the other person, bro? Everybody has a story to tell. You know what I mean? That's a biggie song. You know what I'm saying? I got a story to tell. Everybody has one. You know what I mean? Like, for real, for real. So, I appreciate that, brother. Thank you. I love you already know. Love you love, man. I appreciate y'all. PPP, man. If y'all ain't subscribed, bro, y'all better get the fuck together, you heard? 100, you know what I'm saying? If y'all niggas ain't subscribed to Spit That Heat, nigga, the resurgent is popping, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's about to pop. If y'all niggas ain't been in tune with Spit That Heat, man, y'all niggas is motherfucking hoes. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say to y'all niggas, bro. If y'all niggas don't know who the fuck Spit That Heat is and what the spit, what spit that heat done for the culture, you know what I mean? Y'all hoes, bro. Y'all ain't in tune, so... Shout out to my boy, uh, Milltown Blow. You know what I'm saying? We out this motherfucker. Pussy. Peace and love. Put your 3D glasses on then, pussy. Because you know we coming straight at you.